Tom Clark has more than two decades of experience selling homes in Spokane County, and he is actually a former president of the Spokane Association of Realtors. Tom, we know this is a housing crisis unlike anything our area has ever seen before. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. I do want to ask, what do you think needs to happen for it to improve? Well, thank you. Uh, it's nice to be here this morning. Uh, there, there are a lot of things that need to happen uh, for it to improve, and, and it's not a one, you know, it's not a one-trick pony. It's a, it's a little bit here, a little bit there, and a little bit over here. We've got. Uh, I think that there needs to be some zoning changes. There needs to be some uh, building code changes. There needs to be some relief on uh, on builders who are building uh, affordable housing, lesser expensive housing to. Uh, to have some of their fees and their impact fees and their their permitting fees and things like that uh, uh, set aside, and, and so it's a it's a it's a long term deal. And like Ben Stuckert was saying, you know, we need more inventory. So to get more inventory is not going to be an overnight uh, an overnight uh, solution either. Yeah, it's very a very complex issue for sure, no doubt. But you know, if we could pinpoint one thing, would you say that the pandemic is to blame for the Spokane housing market? Uh, on track to boom like this? You know, I, I don't think so. Uh, even during the pandemic, uh, the real estate market stayed fairly strong when we thought it was going to dip. Uh, we thought everybody was just going to shelter in place and not move around, but they were actually uh, still looking to, to buy homes. Um, the last three years, we've ramped up to where we are today, and actually uh, underbilling for about the last 10 years has, has created most of where we're at today. Uh, you know, the numbers that uh, the Spokane Housing Action Plan uh, uses versus the ones that we use are, are like night and day. They think we need another 6,800 homes built in the next 17, 16, 17 years. We think we're already 32,000 homes behind. Wow. So there's a big difference in the numbers. They both spell crisis. They both spell emergency. And I think that uh, any... Any decisions made by our city council or by the, our elected officials need to have the housing crisis in mind. And actually in their minds, they need to be thinking of it as an emergency so that they need to make actions towards solutions rather than uh, exacerbating the situation. So, Tom, I do want to ask you, what does the light at the end of the tunnel look like for our housing crisis in Spokane County? Well, you know, I, I think the light at the end of the tunnel is, uh, you know, steady as she goes. Uh, you, you, Patience is going to win the is going to win the battle, uh, and it's not going to be uh, it's not going to be an overnight type of a solution. So, uh, you know, every little thing we can do to to make an improvement. Uh, ben mentioned some of the things about, and you talked to someone earlier, I think, on on rental situation. The more control city council puts on landlords, the fewer rentals we're going to have because in the real estate business, we see a lot of rental properties coming on the market because they're not getting rents. So they're selling the properties and, and they're taking them out of the rental pool, which is only making the problem worse. Wow, a very complex issue. Tom, we do appreciate your time this morning and we are committed to continue to cover this topic. You can click on the Boomtown section inside the Creme 2 app. All right, Tom, thanks so much.